novel as an e-book has allowed him to fulfill his dream of becoming a published author, all from his hometown of North Bay. He did say, though, that he would one day like a paper copy of The Sacred Ash to keep on his bookshelf as sort of a trophy. Police say they are fully aware of the joyous nature of St. Patrick's Day, but they say it is no excuse. They want drinkers to plan for a sober driver just like they would any other day of the year. If you ignore the bylaw and do have an outdoor fire in the city, if it gets away from you and fire crews have to be called to put it out, they want to remind you you could be stuck with the bill. And if all else fails, take comfort in knowing that according to the report, we are much happier than Americans and even the British. I spoke with a North Bay drug abuse counselor. She told me since March 1st, when OxyContin stopped being manufactured in Canada, the street price for the drug has doubled. She says users are now looking for other cheaper highs, and that has police concerned. Carrie Trounson, CTV News, North Bay. And now, the CTV News. Good evening. It's good news for the people of West Street tonight. They're back in their homes just in time for the long weekend. Halfway between Sudbury and Timmins, about 200 people were evacuated Monday because of a forest fire. The Ministry of Natural Resources says that fire is under control, but it's telling the people of West Street if the winds change, they need to be ready to leave on a moment's notice. It's a crime to breach the fire ban. That means no open air burning and no fireworks. CTV's Gordon Nichols has more. Fireworks are a traditional part of the May long weekend celebration. And they've been a red hot fundraiser for the Valley East Kinsman Club over the years. We want to tell you tonight about an announcement from the cash strapped McGinty government. The big business of gambling in the province is about to get a lot bigger. From Niagara to Kenora, private investors are being invited to pitch their ideas for new bingo halls and gaming houses. A Las Vegas style casino in Sudbury. As CTV's Ben Mercer reports, it's a very real possibility. It may have been the worst kept secret in Ontario. As CTV reported last month, Sudbury has been selected as a possible site for a glitzy full-service casino. It's not hard to see why the province wants a bigger piece of the gambling pie, but what about the social costs? CTV's Alana Everson has that side. A casino in Sudbury? It's an idea that seems to have lots of support on the street. Attendance at the two-day mining show in Timmins may be proof that the mining industry is surging along, but how long will it continue? CTV's Nikki Judy reports. It's a billion-dollar industry, and expos like this only show a fraction of how big the worldwide mining industry has become. When a new four-lane highway opens up, it's a welcome change for drivers, but when that new highway steers those drivers away from the small communities once on its route, it's tough on business. That's the predicament facing the community of Sundridge. 40 minutes south of North Bay, as CTV's Linda Holmes reports, the town is now hoping its first farmer's market will help turn the travelers around. With the snip of a ribbon, the Sunridge Farmer's Market is open for business. People who attend these markets say they like the friendly atmosphere and want to support local growers and producers. Now here's Beverly Thompson with a quick look at who's in the Canada AM studios Friday morning. Tomorrow on Canada AM, superstar Carrie Underwood will talk to her about her hot new album. The May Long Weekend is the cue for many to dig out the camping gear and head for their favorite provincial park. Before the big summer rush, park staff spend weeks cleaning and preparing sites. Tamara Ashanko reports. These turtles soaking up the sun at Grundy Lake Provincial Park will soon have plenty of company. Grundy is a very uh, large provincial park. There's more to come here on the late edition. We'll have full weather details right after the break. This was the scene late Saturday night as OPP snowmobiles head on to Trout Lake. Officers with the Traffic Reconstruction Unit and a coroner are trying to piece together just how that fatal collision happened. 
Police got the call a few minutes earlier from a nearby resident who heard screaming. Police say there were two snow machines involved. They were following each other. The lead snow machine was carrying a driver and a passenger, and the second, just a driver. They described the conditions at the time as uh, foggy. Uh, the second snowmobiler advised that they just came, up, came across a rock face and the lead snow machine hit the rock face. And then he ended up following them in and also hitting the rock face. 16-year-old Jesse Folsom of Phelps Township was killed. A 14-year-old boy was taken to hospital, treated and released, while a 17-year-old boy remains in hospital with a broken leg. We uh, have conducted some interviews, but as you can, you can imagine, the other two drivers were sent to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries at this point. Uh, so all of the interviews have not been taken yet, so uh, we don't have a total grasp of it. We do know that they were on their way home or wherever their uh, entry onto the lake was. Police say they haven't determined what factors may have led to the collision as it's still under investigation. But they did tell me that alcohol and drugs were not involved. Carrie Trounson, CTV News, North Bay. Water has been rushing through this dam for 60 years. On Wednesday, the province opened the gates for a guided tour of the facility. We've invited media into Auto Holden Generating Station to provide a glimpse at our rich history while also giving a sense of the bright future that we have here in the community of Mattawa. It stretches across the Ottawa River from Ontario to Quebec, producing clean renewable energy every year. All of the hydro created here at the dam feeds the switch gears behind me for Hydro One and is then distributed to the grid to generate power for the rest of the province. This station here at 240 megawatts can, can produce enough power to serve uh, North Bay and Sudbury. Located about 10 kilometers outside of Mattawa, it employs 24 full-time staff from the small town. I uh, consider myself very lucky to be able to come here with the professional people that I work with and uh, you know what we do for the province, so it's, uh, it's great. Dupra also sits on the town council. He says Otto Holden is a testament to the kind of industry this small town can support and he hopes more industries will give the town a chance. We hope that the uh, Mattawa Bonfield Economic Development uh, Agency, which is our driver right now, uh, you know, we have some, some things in the fire. We are getting a new Tim Hortons, or a Tim Hortons coming in soon, yes, and uh, we have a few other things that are going on. The dam is under tight security and is off limits to the public for safety reasons. But if you do want a closer look, the dam is open to the public every July during Voyager Days. Carrie Trounson, CTV News, Mattawa.